first thing you have to do, I'm making it easy for myself. I take off the tire and I take off the fender liner. So I'm about to bring you along. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as a teamwork. Be a part of the team, be a part of the family. KG, let's go get it. So here's the oxygen sensor right here. See the space there is very, very tight, but you have to make sure you have the right tools uh, to do the job because I have a tools that I use to take off an oxygen sensor. I have a set of it. So right here, there's a clip that you need to pull it up like this. Then you'll be able to take off this. Once you push it back in or you're installing it, you just push the clip down. So I'm about to take off the oxygen sensor now. I slack it already. Just gonna do a little bit of turning. if not you find it difficult sometimes those things can be really tight now the air fuel ratio sensor is the same thing with uh, the sun titanic to pray for a small hand. That's it right there. For your prayer, it works. I always say prayers changes things. You better believe that. Prayer changes everything. Oh, we got it in now. Ah, she goes really good. So you want to make sure you got it first with your hand. So now we're gonna break this guy there. a few tons. It's not that a lot of tons. Like a few tons here and there. Be able to get it. Use my hand there again. Just like I want to put my... Uh, okay, that's it now. I'm just going to tie it up. I'm going to get the tooth. Well, I have to move my camera now. At least you see what I'm doing there. Yeah. All right, so KG, so you see, the sensor is right here. I don't know if I can be able to get it. Okay, that's it right there. Try to get this. Okay, that's the sensor right there, see? Right there, where my hand is touching. So there's a pin right there on top of it. So to release it, you push it up. 
then the all singing sensor will come out. So it has a little hole there. So to put it back in, once you once you put it in, you snap it back down. I believe I'll be able to show the other side better. So this is the passenger side. So this is the tooth that I'm using. I have a, a box of it, so it's very good when you're doing a oxygen sensor job. These tools are very good. I have a box of it. So as you can see right here, let's see if I can point to it then. I wanna block the camera. Right down here, right? See this thing right here? It has a lock. Let me take it off to show you. This is the lock. This is how you release it. See this thing? It has a hole in on the both side. So when you want to take it out, you when you want to unlock it, you push it up like this. See that? Let me get the camera. When you want to unlock it, you push it up like this. See, it goes down like this, up and down. So. Okay, it's finally out. So you see it? So when you want to unlock it, you push it up like this. See, it has a hole. So there's something here, it comes on this hole right here. Let me get the other. See it? So it has a hole here. So the pin goes on this, the lock goes right here. To lock it, goes right here, see? That's how you lock it. So it goes like this up, then it comes down here to lock. So the other one has a little hole on it too. So when you want to release it, you just like this. Then when you want to lock it, bring it down. So that's it right there. So I'm going to take it out. I slack it already. You see the sensor, let me lower my camera so you can see it's good. Is it right there? So it's best for you to take out the, the tire and the fender liner. Once you do that, it's a home run. So you don't have to struggle with it. So the best way to do it, take out the tire, then you take out the fender liner. Once you do that, you are good to go. You don't have to struggle. Okay, so. Sometimes when you're doing it, there might be a little bit of hesitation. Just be patient and keep turning. Because remember now, when you're turning it, the, the, the cable, the wire is going to be turning with it. Just trying to flip the wire over. Okay, see, it's right there. So I'm gonna bring this guy because this is very good. It has a slot. See, so you know when you have a flat, there's no way you can use a flat there, and you can't even use a socket because you need something that has that slot. Right there, put it there. Just a little bit of tongue, you should be fine. That's it. Let me take this guy out. And take this one out. We're gonna bring the connector now. So I won't be able to show you that because I'm gonna cover the camera anyway. But at least my explanation set it up. Alright. We'll be right back when I snap it. Yes, yeah, so as you can see now, you see it's in already. See there? So make sure when you're taking it out, you don't lose that. Because that is a pin. If you lose that, you're going to have a problem. So once you, like I said, lift it up and snap it out. Once you do that, 
will come and see. He has a, a little pin here, right down here too. Plug it right here, so it can stay away from the manifold. Right, so that's basically it. I'm just gonna put back the fender liner. The job is completed. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, KGL. Also, that's it on this job, as you can see. The job is completed. I hope this video helps somebody out there. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's a teamwork. Like I always say, I love to share my knowledge. You can't take it with you. So as I'm doing that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be a part of the team. Be a part of the family. Thanks for watching. God bless you really good. I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm out.